Mmm. 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 Yes. That is perfection. That is Persian perfection. And welcome back to our channel. Today we are taking you guys to one of our favorite types of cuisine. Me and Alfonso used to eat this food almost once a week and it is Persian food. Typically Persian food is a combination of rice, meats, vegetables and nuts and we absolutely love this food. We are here at this restaurant called Kababi Cafe and they have amazing Persian food and it has been so long since me and Alfonso have enjoyed this food. But guys, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. With your support, we're able to continue making videos for you guys. So it is time to try this amazing Persian food. Let's go. been here at this restaurant. He recommends this as great Persian food here in Florida, so I think we're going to have an amazing meal. Check out the inside of this restaurant. So guys, over here they have a buffet. They have kebabs, they have rice, they have stews. They have it Fridays from 12 to 3, Saturdays 1 to 4, and Sundays 1 to 4 amazing huge assortment of Persian food. They have a beautiful bar over here and then let me show you guys the inside over here. Check out this place where you can get all of these desserts homemade like literally right behind that door. <laughs> what do you think of these desserts Alfonso? Don't they look so good? Yeah it's like creamy bread baklava kind of style. You got um, authentic teas, yogurt drinks, this is very typical Persian drink. This yogurt is kind of like a salty, salty uh, drink. It tastes really, really good when you mix it with the food that's so savory. Now check out in here. I love the brick on the walls. They even got belly dancing here live on Saturday nights. There's no customer, so we're not disturbing anybody. <laughs> but we are gonna find a seat and we are gonna order some amazing Persian food. Okay guys, so we just sat down at Kababi Cafe, beautiful menus by the way, and we are going to have a Persian feast, I'm telling you. So the owner came and recommended a bunch of dishes and we are starving and we love Persian food so that's a combination. And let me tell you what we got. We got our favorite yogurt and cucumber uh, sauce. It's like an appetizer, but I love mixing it with the Persian rice. This is like a, a yogurt with dried mint mixed 
with yogurt. It is so delicious. And then something that is super delicious, I've, I've even made this at home, eggplant dip. It doesn't taste as authentic though. <laughs> this is a roasted eggplant blended into a dip topped with some yogurt, sauteed onions, and mint sauce. It has such a delicious flavor and is such a great way to use eggplant. Then over here we got, it's called Cafe Trio. It is one skewer of barge, one of boneless chicken, and one of a beef kebab. But not just that, we couldn't stop there. Then we got a lamb shank. If you've like you have to try a Persian lamb shank. It is like no other. And then we got it with a different kind of rice. This is a rice that has raisins. It's a little bit of a sweeter rice. Mouth is drooling. It is so delicious, guys. Oh, and we got a Persian tea. I'll show you guys. Persian tea is so delicious, so elegant. You have some sugar on the side, but we just enjoy having this tea alone. Let's try our tea. Oh my gosh, it is so elegant. It's almost like, tastes like roses. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Love Persian tea. And I believe that they use a lot of rose water um, in their ice cream, in their uh, food. And this tea is just so elegant. Mmm. Guys, we are going to have a feast I cannot wait to show you guys so guys our appetizers have arrived and they are plated so nice take a look at this eggplant dip I love the way they plated it you can see those crispy onions on top the aroma of those crispy onions is delicious and then over here you have some yogurt on top and then take a look at the size of the yogurt dish i love that because <laughs> you can never get enough yogurt i absolutely love it and i love mixing it with the rice okay and then over here we have the bread and butter so we are going to take the bread and we're going to take oh it's warm bread guys let's rip a piece and first i'm going to dive right into this eggplant i miss eating this so much i've tried to recreate it at home but it's not the same I think it takes like a lot of skills. Okay, let's try it. Oh, look at that eggplant and love the idea that's in a dip. Ooh, that looks really good. And you just make like a little sandwich with it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, the flavor is so good, like times 10. Mm. The texture is perfect. There is so much flavor in this. It's like a warm, like comforting blanket. <laughs> and then the crispy onions on top just add that perfect onion flavor you get that creaminess of the yogurt oh it's even topped with a little bit of olive oil and then the bread is just so perfect for it it's not too you know some breads they come a little hard this is soft this just keeps your mouth like wanting more absolutely delicious i forget exactly what spices are in here but it's so so distinct it's like I've never had anything like this this flavor oh my god mmm 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 this just keeps getting better <laughs> the more I try it the tastier it's getting the perfect amount of flavor like perfect salt perfect onions texture is on point okay the texture is on point if you haven't had this dish, it is like no other. The Persian eggplant dip, there's a, an authentic name for it. I kind of forget. I'm going to ask the waiter. And then, of course, we got our yogurt sauce over here. This one, though, I love mixing with the rice and the kebabs. So this has some mint in it, cucumbers. This is a must-have when you're having Persian food. Well, at least for me. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. Mm. 
Oh, wow. My word for that is fresh. It is like cold. It is creamy. Perfect amounts of like lime and salt, dill, cucumbers. Mmm. They're so different from each other, guys. But oh my gosh, the eggplant dip is like a rock star over here. <laughs> we are going to sit here and enjoy these amazing appetizers, guys. Oh my gosh, you got to stay tuned. We have like three large kebabs coming and then a lamb shank at the end. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, our platter of kebabs have arrived and they just smell so good and they look even better. Take a look. Look at this juicy meat. The aroma of this meat has like just that Persian essence all about it. Look at this beautiful kubi day. That is plump, it is juicy. We got the chicken and then we got the steak and then we have always in Persian cuisine a kind of a grilled full tomato, some uh, parsley for decoration, but and then we got the ultimate Persian rice with saffron on top. Persian rice is like so fluffy, so buttery, and so necessary in this world. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, let's let me show you my favorite kind of plate, okay? Persian rice. Very fluffy, guys. Look at the fluffiness. Look at the butter. We have um, a lot of Persian friends in Canada and they usually take like some butter and they, they put it on top and just let it like drizzle all over the rice. Very good. Oh, and then we're gonna have um, the kubi day, my favorite, ultimate favorite. Kubi day. Oh, I can just tell that is juicy. Cooked to perfection, smells incredibly good. We're gonna have a tomato on the side. And let's not forget this one, the yogurt sauce on the side. This is how I designed my plate. <laughs> All right, guys, now it's the best part. It's to enjoy. So we are going to start with the Kubi Day right away. I just want to try this Kubi Day on its own. Juicy. Mmm. 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 Yes. That is perfection. That is Persian perfection. Oh my gosh, it is so juicy. It is so juicy. It is so just fatty and tasty. Like seriously so tasty. And look guys, there's not much like marination to it. Like, so this meat's gotta be like perfect cause you have nothing to hide <laughs> under. And this meat is just so juicy and flavorful. It's hard to describe actually the flavor of, of the uh, Kubi Day, um, but it is just meat perfection and it's not overwhelming at all. So juicy, it's minced like perfectly. Okay, so the next stage is to try it with the rice. Mmm! Mmm! Oh my gosh, I am so happy I found this place. Honestly, this is so good. The rice is so fluffy and buttery. Mmm. And there's just so many ways you can eat Persian food. Like, stay tuned because we're gonna make a little sandwich. I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of these Persian sandwiches. Guys, this food is incredible, but don't go yet. I haven't tried the tomato yet. So I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes like this, but when I have um, Persian food, I actually love mixing the tomato with the rice. And again, I'm not like a huge tomato person, but these tomatoes I never go without. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so juicy, so watery, so sweet. I love this food, guys. And this is just the start. We're gonna try the chicken kebab. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect Persian sandwich. Well, the Jessica version of it. <laughs> so we got our bread. Look at this chicken. It has been marinated perfectly with the saffron. Look at the juiciness. You can't ask for any more juicy. That looks perfect. It even got crispy on the outside. So we're gonna do a little sandwich here. 
Gonna cut it in half. Yeah, you don't even need a knife. Just use the fork. Juicy. Okay, next we're going to add, I would add a little bit, maybe I will. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato. That's the nice thing about this food. You just go for it. <laughs> and some yogurt. Not there yet, guys. A little bit of lemon. Woo! Yeah? Make sure you don't get the lemon seed. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, it's like a dance. It's just a dance in your mouth. It is juicy, it is salty, it is savory, it has some punch. Oh gosh, guys, that was like the perfect combo. Mmm. 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 The chicken is so juicy. It's so easy to cut through. It's just um, so satisfying like ultimate satisfaction. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so happy. This chicken is amazing. Okay, guys, and the last one, well, not the last one, because I gotta show you the lamb shank that looks, woo, so good. But this is the steak kebab. We are gonna dive into it next. Okay, guys, so moving on to the steak kebab. Let's see how tender this steak is. I'm just gonna move the decoration here. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Juicy, like salt basis. <laughs> that looks so good. Okay, I'm just gonna try this on its own. I didn't even have to cut through it. <laughs> Mm. It's just like the perfect barbecue. It's so tender, so juicy. Want to dip it in the, the yogurt. Mmm. 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 When you add it with the yogurt sauce, it is like a party in your mouth. It is so good. Now I'm going to mix it with the tomato. Super tender steak, guys. Oh my gosh. Let's get a bite here. Ooh, so now we have some rice, tomato, yogurt, steak. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm like eating huge bites in front of you guys because you just don't care when you're eating Persian food. It's just so good. You just want to enjoy the juiciness. Guys, this is incredible. I am so glad we found this place. It's still far from us, but it is worth the 45 minute drive. Okay, guys, the last thing I wanna show you guys is this amazing lamb shank. You guys stay tuned. Okay, guys, so moving on to the main event of the evening, the lamb shank. Take a look. Is it just me or is this already falling off the bone? Now this lamb shank takes a lot of time to prepare um and to make like taste so tender and then over here we got a raisin rice i feel like i want to call it barberry i'm not 100 percent sure if that's the correct word but there are raisins in here and then there's also onions i love that oh and there's also lentils which i was surprised and oh and then of course yes the saffron is what's making that beautiful rice orange okay let's not waste any time I want to try this lamb shank. It's already fallen off the bone. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Let's just take, huh? I want to take this little piece right here. Look how it just falls. You can just pull it. Oh my gosh. This looks super good. I want to try, my mouth's already drooling. <laughs> I want to try just the lamb on its own. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like there's some rose water marination in there. That is very soft. 
and the broth oh my gosh i just want to drink the broth that looks so good let me just try it because that looks really good oh my gosh oh my gosh that is so good I had a little bit of like a little bit of something like a spice in there but it is so good guys i gotta that is what you want to do when you're eating that dish <laughs> let's go for the rice this rice on its own just looks like amazing look at the lentils in there i don't think i've ever had the rice with lentils in it i want to try this rice on its own it looks so fluffy so fresh let's get a, a little bit more of crispy onions oh yeah. oh yes Mm. I love the crispy onions. It has so much flavor. I mean, I cook with onions all the time. I, we eat a lot of onions. And then the sweetness of the raisins with the rice. It works so perfectly. And then you're just getting that extra protein with the lentils. Mm. Guys, let's try it together. Oh, this looks like a juicy part. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh juicy oh my gosh i just want to try it mixed here we go mm. Mm. oh my gosh the broth is just soaked into this lamb shank especially when you get it down here well the top part was more crispy but this is the this is the money maker right here that is the gold that is so tender and so juicy and then when you mix the savory uh, lamb with the sweetness of the rice, whew, this is flavors that you can't beat. Mm, my God, that is so good. Mm. We've had like a beautiful Persian feast here. This food is absolutely amazing. Guys, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna enjoy this amazing food. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh my gosh, guys, we just found the best Persian restaurant in Florida. It was so juicy, guys. You have to check this place out. Like this video, subscribe so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing.